Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to walk through my Jennifer Fisher jewelry collection. So as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Jennifer Fisher jewelry and especially her hoops. So I was someone who was not a true believer that these hoops could be that lightweight and that amazing, but I finally dipped my toes into the Jennifer Fisher hoops and I am now a complete believer. And that sent me down the rabbit hole of buying several other pieces of her jewelry. So what I thought I would do today is just share my collection with you, my favorites, and why the hoops are definitely worth the investment. So if you are interested in seeing my Jennifer Fisher collection, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first, Jennifer Fisher was a long time wardrobe stylist to the stars and then she has morphed into creating her own jewelry line as well as expanding into unique sea salts. She's done a collaboration with Crate and Barrel Furniture so she's a true entrepreneur and I actually got onto this brand from a good friend who has definitely been pushing me to try the Jennifer Fisher hoops. Jennifer Fisher is a celebrity in her own right, but she is also known for creating jewelry for JLo, Hailey Bieber. If you go to her Instagram account, you will see many famous stars wearing her famous lightweight hoops. And she's famous for making super lightweight and comfortable hoops. And as a fellow hoop lover who had to stop wearing them because they just started feeling heavy on my earlobes and my earlobes were starting to get that little bit of stretch, I kind of switched over to more drop earrings that were a bit lighter. But I always have loved the classic hoop and I was so excited because I had been hearing the buzz that these are lightweight, so comfortable to wear, but I didn't want to make the investment because they seemed a little pricey for hoops. Once I went down the rabbit hole of buying one pair of hoops and discovering how lightweight, classic, and fun they are to wear, I now want to collect all the different styles of hoops. I have also bought several of her chains. I have a couple rings and bracelets. So what I thought I would do is just walk you through my collection and we're going to start with the earrings. And my very first purchase of hoops were these. And these are the Micro Samira Huggies. And the Samira line is a great kind of entry into the hoops. And they have several sizes in the Samira. I feel like these are a great entry level hoop to start with because they are a bit chunky. They are smooth. And I started with the micro huggy because I was not sure how big of hoops I could go with. And I find these to be a classic staple that I pull out and wear all the time. These ones are a bit conservative as far as hoops. You could definitely go bigger. They have many different sizes. I tend to stick to the one inch, one and a half. Those seem to be big enough for me. I do have one fun pair of two inch hoops that are a bit thinner, but you can definitely have fun and go with much bigger hoops in this line. There's just so many different hoop designs that are so nice. There's thick, chunky ones. There's thin ones. There's hammered ones. There's sort of split double ones. The world is your oyster as far as hoops with Jennifer Fisher. And Jennifer Fisher sells beautiful, fine jewelry, but I've only focused on the brass sort of essentials from the line. The next hoops I purchased were actually goop hoops. So Jennifer Fisher did a collaboration with Gwyneth Paltrow and goop. And these are actually the Gwyneth hoops right here. And I call them goop hoops. I guess when I was in store, they told me these would be considered Shane hoops, but they are a bit thinner and square. Okay. 
and a little bit bigger hoops. So let me put these on for you. And these are the goop hoops. These again are a classic hoop with a bit of edge to them. The next pair I bought were on sale on Jennifer Fisher's website and these are super fun. These are two inch square threads. And so these are just super fun and flirty. I don't know if I could get away with big chunky hoops. I suppose I could. These are my biggest so far. But because these are so thin and light, I just find that these are fun to wear. I absolutely love these two inch threads. These are sort of my fun and flirty hoops. Then the pair I just picked up while I was in New York for my birthday. These are the mini Jennifer hoops. And I just love these ones, you guys. They're a little bit thicker. They are described as polished on the outside with a party on the inside because there's a little bit of hammered detail in the interior. These are one inch hoops and they are a bit thicker, more of a statement hoop. I did try on the Maeve hoops while I was in the store, which I really did like. They are more of a hammered detail, but they definitely were a statement hoop. Whereas I thought these hoops were just fun, but also a bit of a statement too. So those are the four hoops that I currently own. And I just have to tell you, even though these seem a little bit bigger, they are so lightweight. These are hollow. They are so comfortable. They do not weigh down your lobes whatsoever. And I definitely think they are worth the investment, especially if you are someone who loves to wear a classic hoop earring, then you have got to check out the Jennifer Fisher hoops because they are just that comfortable on the ears. And again, she has so many amazing styles. So I also have some brass necklaces and many of you have been asking me where I got these. And these are Jennifer Fisher chain necklaces and these are the Dean double chain necklaces. And so I like to layer my Dean necklaces together. And the first one I have, this is the double dual Dean necklace. So this one is a dual necklace with an extra, extra small length here and then the other extra small length. So one's a little bit thicker and one's thinner. And one of the reasons I love her necklaces is that you can adjust them and wear them at different lengths from 16 to 19 lengths, depending on where you are going to put the hook. So I can wear it more a little bit closer, like a choker at the very top link here. Then I have the double extra, extra small Dean necklace. And I forgot to mention, I have been, I have purchased this in the 10 karat yellow gold plated brass. So this, so this is a brass necklace and it has 10 karat yellow gold. They also have 14 karat rose gold plated brass as well as silver plated brass. So if you're a silver girl, you can totally do this look with silver. If you love rose gold, again, you can pick it out in rose gold. So this is, I'll wear this at a little different length here. So these are my everyday chains that I wear as just part of my overall jewelry look. These are my go-to. They are very comfortable. They're not too heavy or sit heavy around your neck. And I personally just like the layered chain effect. And I can play around with the links and change it up from day to day. Now I do like to mix metals. So I ended up getting one of the single
and I will often add that to the stack of chains, especially if I'm opting to wear a pair of silver earrings or a blazer that has silver buttons. I will want to mix in a little bit of that mixed metal look with the gold and the silver. Now my next necklace is a bit more of a statement necklace. And this one is the double small essential necklace. And again, this is super comfortable to wear. I love it because I can wear it with a t-shirt or tank, kind of look a little bit put together, have a little bit more of an edgy look, or pair it with a crisp white button down and look a bit more professional. So absolutely love this necklace as well. Which brings me to bracelets and these are bracelets I wear every single day and I do mix metals. So I have the Dean Extra Small Dual bracelet here. And then I have the extra small chain. These are the bracelets I wear every day and I do love a good cuff and I do have the Samira cuff bracelet and I have sort of small wrists and so cuffs do not always work for me but the beauty of this one is you can squeeze it just a bit so you can wear it like a classic cuff just like this or you can wear it on the opened edge side so this is a very versatile little cuff again it is hollow inside so very light comfortable to wear and I just love a good cuff so this one I don't wear every single day I definitely wear the chains because they just stay on my body but I love this classic Samira hoop bracelet And last but not least, yes, I have a couple rings and I have been asked about them recently. And I have two rings and I usually pair these two together. This is the Samira ring. And this is what the Samira ring looks like. And I like to wear it on my index finger. They recently launched these Dean rings and this is the triple extra small Dean ring and these are so comfortable to wear so they're literally little meshy rings and I just put it on this finger and I love the kind of statement look on this hand. I need to get my nails done, slap on some hand cream, but essentially I love these rings. Super comfortable to wear, just like all my Jennifer Fisher jewelry. If you do order online, typically your orders will come either in this little Jennifer Fisher pouch, or you will get both in a little travel case here that has the Jennifer Fisher logo here that you can along with one of the bags with your jewelry in it. And these bags are fantastic because they've got a little separator, because they've got a little separator in here so you can literally put one hoop in one side and then the other, and they're easy to travel with. So the way that I travel with my jewelry is in these bags, stick it in my little pouch and I have everything ready to go. So this concludes my Jennifer Fisher collection of jewelry that I have so far. These are basic pieces that I wear every single day. I definitely have more on my wish list. Just beautiful, fine jewelry where you can add on charms. I've got my eye on a simple chain plus the small pink freshwater pearl with diamond. You to see it in person. It was just so sweet. Of course, I love the color pink. That can be the start to adding on 
to a chain necklace. So they have all sorts of personalized charms and definitely a fun place to shop. I stopped in the store in New York City. They were super sweet. I was just in the market for a pair of hoops, but we did ting but we did wander over to the fine jewelry area. And I love the vibe of her jewelry because it suits my style a little bit more casual. You can dress it up or dress it down. And I had a really fun experience at the actual store. So I've been getting questions about my jewelry and I thought I would just go ahead and share my Jennifer Fisher collection. I hope this was helpful and thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.